It's taken Paul Johnson some time to find his feet again after an act of folly scarred him for life. Four years ago, Paul, who's only 25, found himself in a dark place and was drinking heavily. One night on his way home, he tried to cross a railway line with devastating consequences. I came out of the taxi early, tried to cross a railway track, got electrocuted and ended up um, waking up on the track two hours later with my legs on fire. Um, had to roll over, put myself out and call myself an ambulance. Um, it was absolutely terrifying. Paul paid a huge price, losing both legs and suffering permanent damage to his organs and tissue. His guilt and embarrassment lost him more years. But through his brother's knowledge of the Finding Your Feet charity run by Kareen Hutton, he eventually set out a new path. Once I started meeting Corinne for lunch and some friends um, in the amputee community for lunch and then going to their clubs and stuff and playing guitar with them, honestly, it just, my, my life sort of started, it was gradual at first with improvements and then it just kind of, my own self-confidence and uh, well-being just skyrocketed over this last year. And from starting as a volunteer with the charity, he's now working with them, visiting schools, meeting, talking to and advising young people, fundraising for the charity and changing perceptions on disability. We've discovered a personality in Paul that we didn't know was there. He's really, really sharp, really witty, really cheeky. Um, and, and that's just brilliant in the office workplace. We love that kind of banter. Um, and I, again, we just didn't know that was there in the years where he was struggling. And I honestly prefer life now than I did before the accident. And I couldn't have gotten to that stage without finding your feet. Paul Johnson wins the Young Scott Young Hero Award.